हाय गाइस दिस इज बिस्वजी त्रिपाठी एंड वेलकम टू आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन ई एस पी वन टू ई नोड माइक्रो कंट्रोल यूनिट सेटअप ओके सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स फीचर्स एंड टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशंस एंड एप्लीकेशंस ओके सो टुडे विल सी हाउ टू कन्फिग्योर दिस डिवाइस एंड हाउ टू लोड प्रोग्राम्स इन इट एंड ऑल्सो विल सी ए डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ हाउ टू ब्लिंक एन एल um and uh, blink and edit in this and also uh, in this development board uh, there is a usb to uat uh, this is the usb to uh, uat converter is there so so it will be easy to interface with the personal computer okay and also there are uh, necessary circuitry is uh, there uh, to regulate the voltage okay and uh, as you can see all the pins are have been soldered so we can use all the pins uh, as needed okay so uh, now we'll start uh, we'll see how to configure this device now okay so uh, before we install the arduino ide uh, we'll have to first um, configure the port okay and um, so now i have added this device uh, when I, when you connect those uh, that I, wifi module with the personal computer then in the device manager you will see uh, uh, see this uh, device okay and you have to add it and uh, configure it okay so after adding this device uh, you'll have to search for the uh, driver which is cp210x usb2 uart bridge okay and just remember that here the communication port is uh, com11 okay so now uh, we'll uh, uh, download the arduino id okay so for that uh, you need to visit to uh, www.arduino.cc okay so then uh, you have to go to software download section okay and uh, see uh, so this is the arduino 1.8.2 version uh, you have to download it okay and uh, this is for windows installer and uh, there is uh, for mac version and linux version is also there okay so for this we have installed the windows installer version okay so uh, after downloading the uh, Arduino software, uh, you'll be able to see a uh, see this screen, okay? And this is the program editor screen, okay? So here we'll write the uh, programs, okay? So now uh, to uh, tell Arduino where to find that ESP8266 E12 library, uh, then uh, you'll have to uh, go to file, then uh, preferences. So after clicking on that, uh, uh, it is taking some time. Uh, you'll have to provide one URL. Uh, you can see it, uh, additional board manager URL. Okay. So uh, I'll I'll post this uh, URL in my comment section so that you can directly copy it and uh, uh, work on it. Okay. So uh, now it has been configured, and I do know know uh, what is the ESP eight eight two six six libraries. Okay. So now uh, we'll install the ESP8266 board uh, via the board manager. So for that, uh, you'll have to go to tool section, then the board. Then after that, uh, you'll have to choose um, the ESP8266 board. Yeah, it is uh, taking some time. Okay, so these are the versions already installed board. So after providing that library section, uh, you will see uh, ESP8266 community version. So uh, I have already installed it. So that's why the install button is already dissolved here, disabled here. And um, uh, so now uh, for you, it will be uh, there will it will be enabled and you can install it. Okay. Um, yeah. So the next step is. Uh, we'll have to determine uh, the communication port. Uh, to show the connected device okay uh, so uh, in device manager we have uh, seen that the communication port number is com11 so here i uh, will go and see so this is the uh, in under tool section there is a port uh, section so here there are two serial ports com3 and com11 so now we'll um, uh, check for the COM11 port. Okay. So then uh, 
will select the ESP 12E module from the board. Uh, under tool section, uh, there is a uh, board board button. So from here, there are several boards are there. Uh, but for us, the development board is Node MCU 1.0, uh, which is this. Uh, I have selected here. Okay. Yeah. So then the next step is uh, we'll have to select the communication port and the speed up communication. Uh, speed up communication is nothing but it is measured um, by baud rate. Uh, baud rate is the number of bits uh, transmitted per second. Okay. So here we'll choose the upload speed uh, for one one five two zero zero bits per second. Okay. So uh, then uh, we'll we'll go to a sample program and uh, which i have already written uh, it's for blinking the uh, on board uh, on board leds uh, which are in the development board okay so uh, in the development board uh, for uh, those two leds uh, it is internally configured with uh, two pins which is uh, gpo gpio2 and gpio16 so that's why uh, uh, I have uh, declared two variable uh, and configured this two pin uh, two and six sixteen, okay, and uh, then uh, uh, here those two pins uh, uh, because we as we are writing data into those two pins, so I have configured it as uh, output, okay. So you see, um, I have configured it as output, okay. Then I have written one loop, uh, so uh, see in these two uh, leds uh, uh, how it is configured um, it is connected in uh, the negative uh, node the negative uh, side of the diode is connected to the pin so whenever we will send the negative pulse or negative trigger then it will turn on the led so to understand that uh, i have i have uh, made one picture uh, so that you can understand it uh, better okay so uh, consider this uh, ESP uh, 12E as a Wi-Fi model. Uh, so V in is the where we uh, provide the input voltage. Okay, and this is the GPIO uh, zero. Uh, sorry, uh, it should be two. Okay, so uh, those two pins are two and sixteen. So see, the pin is connected to the negative part of the diode. Okay, and the positive part of the diode, uh, both the diodes will be connected to some positive supply. So that's why whenever we'll uh, send a low signal to the uh, diode it will it will be turned on okay so so this is the simple program uh, which uh, uh, will be loaded into the uh, wi-fi model okay and uh, i have provided a delay of one second so what it will do uh, it will turn on then after uh, a, after one second it will turn off then turn on and turn off it will be in loop okay so now we'll uh, upload the program uh, we'll compile the program first so under sketch uh, you can see there is a verify or compile uh, button is there so which will uh, compile the program uh, now it is being compiled uh, it will take some time So uh, uh, now this uh, has been compiled and uh, now you can upload the program into the uh, development board. So under sketch option, uh, there is upload button. So clicking on the upload button, uh, it will start uploading that. So now you can, uh, in the console output, you can see uh, it's been uh, done compiling and uh, now it is uploading the program. Okay, so the program is being uploading. So I, I'll I'll also show you the status of uh, uh, development board uh, while uploading the program. Okay, so now it's done. Uh, the program is successfully uploaded. Okay, so I'll I'll show you how uh, how the uh, what is the st state of uh, that Wi-Fi model uh, while uploading the program. Okay, so. Okay, uh, 
Uh, so now see the status of LED, uh, LED uh, while uploading the program. Uh, you can see uh, there is a small LED is blinking continuously. Okay. So uh, once it is uh, uploaded, uh, once the program is uploaded, we will see the behavior of LEDs. So as it is program, uh, it should uh, turn on and off with one second delay uh, for infinity, uh, infinite um, period of time. Okay. So see, uh, I have given the power supply, supply here uh, through this mini USB and see the LEDs are uh, blinking uh, with one second delay and um, and it will uh, execute the program for infinite period of time because I have not set any constraint here. Okay, so uh, uh, instead of the LED, uh, we can use actual load like fans, light bulbs, etc. Et or some other control systems. And uh, so uh, uh, that's it uh, about all the uh, Wi-Fi model setup. Okay, so in my later videos, I'll show you how to uh, program this model as HTTP server and uh, how to remotely control the load uh, from web browser or uh, android app so till then uh, please stay tuned and uh, please like comment and share this video and also don't forget to subscribe this video uh, so that you will know about the uh, upcoming videos so thank you guys and uh, thanks for watching